Before the Bulldogs blew out Assumption in the Elite Eight, they trailed by 17 points with just 5 minutes and 24 seconds in the Central Region Championship. From there, the Bulldogs didn't allow a field goal and held Missouri Southern and outscored the Lions 25-7. to Immediately after the Bulldogs' improbable win as fans rushed the court, you ask yourself how? Well, here it is. You know, we, there was a timeout, and we sat in that timeout, and we came up with a list of plays that we were going to call so that we, we just talked about we got to score a little bit quicker and, and lock, it, lock it in on defense. And one of the first ones that we ran, we got a bucket, and we talked a little bit about pressure, but I'd say this is the turning point right now because we score, cut it to 15, which seems crazy, and then our team just turned it on defensively. You know, Ella was guarding number 21. We made that adjustment. And you could just see a shift in energy with both teams. This play I was making up on the sideline. So this this play here, you just telling them like what to do. Yeah. Stick in the sand and yeah. I'm sending Ella here, getting Taya out, lob to Brooke. That's not a play that we have. And then they double, and Brooke makes a great read. Like that was just us playing basketball. That's what's that? Five years of just knowing. Brooke and yeah. that she'll make the right play. Brooke has taken her game to an entirely different level this year. She, she's poised. Well, she's always been poised and patient, but mm -hmm. she's been more poised and patient than I've ever seen her. And even when she turns, like this is where she's gotten so good. As she picks up her dribble, she sh turns her head to see the defense first because she knows a double's coming. She sees enough space and she's able to just go up. She even gives like almost a little pass fake there. Like that's just an incredible incredible play by Brooke Olson. And I thought was, this was huge. We called the timeout and Ryan's like, get Lexi in. Get Lexi in. I'm sure everybody's like, why is Brooke coming out and like, why is a freshman post player going <laughs> in right now? You know, and he's like, get her on the ball and he wasn't wrong. She's incredibly athletic. I mean, she can grab the rim. So yeah. we're hoping that she could tip a pass here. Yep. And she does a good job of just bugging the basketball and Tatum makes a great heads up play. Her and Tatum's instincts are Oh, the, she she made two huge defensive plays, except right there. I don't mm -hmm. know what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got a little bit of energy. Sometimes you just run at the ball, but uh, this shot was insane. Like, how many six foot two post players do that, you know that can make that shot? <laughs> her getting like that thirty seconds of rest rest was huge. How locked in are you at this point? Like, can you do you see anything about the court? No. Yeah. No. Very rarely do I know this notice the crowd. Although on Friday night when uh, those towels came yeah. out after halftime, like I just took a minute and looked around. I was like, okay, this is really cool. <laughs> we didn't execute <laughs> this play very well. Um, and then you got that Brooke and Mason just reading each other here. Mason having the confidence to come get the ball. Taking that shot is <laughs> a tough shot to make. Uh, yeah. I mean, credit Brooke too with the screen. That was... Yeah. And then what's going, what's being said in that huddle there? In your in the in this timeout. What? In this timeout, we're talking about trying to get a quick trap. I'm like, this was a great play. I, I videoed it yesterday and sent it to her, and she's like, Oh, is it my I'm a star jumping ability? <laughs> like she's up there. <laughs> 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 but like, I mean, even just the timing on this, like, watch how she just pauses. She makes sure pauses, and then she gets in there and gets a jump ball. Like that's a tough thing to do. And her instincts in these these last two minutes were incredible. This this last play here, I'm walking and I'm just like, okay, what? And I'm thinking, what should we run? And then we got Mason screaming at me, telling me what oh, she yeah, wants to run. Yeah. So she called the last play. I'm like, yeah, let's go. And so what was the initial play? We're trying to get it to Brooke. So like right now we're just supposed to get it to Brooke, and we for a second had it. They did a good job of pressuring Ella. Mm -hmm. Brooke has the seal that we want. Um, and Ella makes the right read there to not throw it. Like, the timing was a little bit off. But then here, I, when I was watching this, I thought one of the biggest heads-up plays is relocating. So Mason realizes Tatum's in trouble. She's guarded. She sees Ella, so she sprints and points to give the ball to Ella. Not that Tatum stopped, you know, maybe Tatum didn't see Mason pointing, yeah. but, like, that's, she's smart. Mm -hmm. You know, she could have tried to go get the ball, but she's like, nope, I'm guarded. Get out of the way. Yep. Look at Ella. It's pretty, pretty unique thing in that situation, too. And so the crowd. Look at that. It was amazing. Mm. Just want to give a quick shout-out to Kelly. She, women's hockey SID, she drove down after the Frozen Four to Missouri 
to help cover this team, and without her, none of that would have happened. Just a very fun conversation yeah. with Coach Pearson, sort of behind the scenes, and how that comeback all came together. It was very fun. Made you realize just how improbable, yeah. how incredible that comeback was. And it could have been like 30 minutes, but you know, right. cut it down because we got a storm <laughs> yeah. coming, right? We appreciate you cutting the story <laughs> down a little bit. Thank you, Kev.